Praise the Lord, glory to God, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, and welcome to the wild wind of testimony. Today promises yet to be another powerful time in prayer like we've been doing for the past couple of days. Um, I'm so pumped, I'm so excited, I'm thrilled as to the things that God is doing. Um, every morning when it's time for wild winds of testimony, I particularly look forward to it because I know that it's another time for prophecies to be given and most especially for prophecies to be made manifest. Uh, God is not just a prophecy giving God, it's also a prophecy fulfilling God. Glory to God. And with that in mind, I'm so excited and thrilled um, because of the things that God is about to do. I sense this very strong in, your life, in my life and in your life that God is crystallizing time crystallizing things what does that mean it means to begin to put things together to be able to ensure that the things that are said concerning you written in the volume of the book concerning you are made manifest in your lifetime and so i want to welcome you to the wild winds of testimonies today it's been a joy of the number of testimonies we've been getting and i know for sure that this is just the beginning the lord is very strong and mighty in our midst and the Bible says, where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. The word liberty is from the word libration. It speaks of the word freedom. That's what liberty means. And so wherever the Spirit of the Lord is, there has to be liberation, there has to be freedom, there has to be resurrection, there has to be a, um, grace, there has to be favor, and all of these beautiful things that the Lord is de decorating your life with. So welcome again to the Wild Winds of Testimony. Um, and today we're going to go deep again into some times of prayers. And so I want to welcome you. I'd like you to put on the comment session and type it right there and say that this is the day that the Lord has made. Just type it right there. This is the day that the Lord has made. Declare it right there and say, I am strong and fervent and flourishing. I am strong, I am fervent and I'm flourishing. Type it right there. I'm strong, I'm fervent, I'm flourishing. It's very interesting how you, you, it's good, pardon me, that you wake up many times um, with the, the, the right words in your spirit. I taught you that yesterday on how to use your words, okay? And so I want you to use your words. I'm strong, I'm flourishing, I'm liberated. I want you to put in the comment section the things that you see and you want to see in your life. Put it right there. I'm blessed, I'm healthy, I'm anointed. I'm favored, I'm graced, I have abundance, I cannot die like a chicken, I'm, I'm, I'm protected, I'm shielded. Type it right there, type it right there, type it, just put it right there. Let another person see yours and say it as well. Glory to God, hallelujah. The power of life and death are in your tongues and blessed are those that know how to use them and find them and use them well. Glory to God. Like our custom is right here, we always ask you to share the link of um, the broadcast so that we can have more people joining. The Lord has given me a powerful, powerful prayer um, focus today. And we're going to be praying and focusing on that in a few minutes. In a few minutes, but I want you to share the link to someone. Um, send to your friend, your cousin, your uncle, your father, your mother, your nephew, your brother-in-law, your sister-in-law, um, that community in church. And um, as, a, as a community, as a family, as a spiritual family called The New, we always look out for one another. That's the reason why we have this beautiful, big, exciting community. And so send to your tribes, um, encourage somebody that you know at work who's been complaining about some things, and most importantly, join in yourself. I also want to encourage you that when we pray, um, the things that you do while the wild winds is going on is that you respond to the impulse of the Spirit. I've taught you that uh, many times so when it's time to pray pray don't receive prayers don't just listen in and keep your mouth shut no don't do that when it's time to pray pray when it's time to rejoice rejoice even if you're in the car and if you have the luxury of driving yourself just scream if you have to scream okay um, just just respond to the things that is that, that is they'll be asked to do these things are very prophetic and we don't joke with power gifts and the prophetic as a church family and so I hope you've sent the link, book, the link to someone. You see a share button right there on your screen. Um, don't forget to like um, the, the channel as well or the, the video going live as well. And also 
put a comment so that it can have more people joining and watching. Praise the Lord. Today, we're going to be praying for something very powerful. And I, I, I want you to pay very close attention to this thing because the Lord put it in my spirit. Um, if you are a creative uh, and a biz- or a business owner or a career professional, most especially for creatives, and I'm going to explain that in a moment because um, many of us, when we hear the word creative, um, we remove ourselves from it and we just say to ourselves that we are not creative. Uh, we exempt ourselves from what God hasn't exempted us from. And so we attribute creatives to people who are into fashion, into dancing, singing, and acting, and some of the visible creative things that, um, 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 you know, you, you can truly see. But someone who is solving a, a, a road network issue, in other words, you are trying to build a lane from Murio Kuala all the way to um, K2, for example, um, that civil engineer that is designing the architecture of the road from one point to another, even though it's very complicated, but then from strategy is able to find exactly the route to take to build that road. What would you say is that, what would you say that person is? That person has been able to creatively find a way around the challenge. So I'd like to say to you this, this is very important. When the word creative, creative is used, don't be quick to remove yourself from it. Just because you're not a dancer, you're not an actor, you're not a singer, you're not a musician, all those kinds of things. So I said all of this to bring a foundation to the things I want us to pray about today because the Lord put something very strong on my spirit that we're going to pray about. This is like taking it from the ground level of prayers, from God, meet my needs, change my story, you know, give me money and all of those things to real depth prayer that I want us to pray today. And I wanted to open your Bibles very quickly to the book of Genesis, the book of Genesis chapter 26. We're going to read Genesis 26 all the way down to verse 29. Genesis 1, pardon me. Genesis 1 verse 26. And let's look at this because this is what we're going to pray about today. It's, it's not going to be a long prayer, but I want you to take this prayer and you're going to go continually for the next three days and pray concerning these things that I've said to you. Glory to God. The Bible says, and God spoke let us make human beings in our own me image and make them reflecting our nature. And so that they be responsible for the fishes in the sea, the birds in the air, the castle, the cast, the cattles, the and yes, earth itself, and every animal that moves on the face of the earth. And God created human beings, He created them godlike, reflecting God's nature. He created them male and female. I'm reading the message translation. Then this is where I'm going to. And God blessed them. Look at how he blessed them. He said, prosper, reproduce, fill the earth, and take charge. You know, one of the things that the Lord started to put in my spirit, and I just wanted to pay attention to it, it's been rested over in my spirit, is how we need to move to another level in terms of what we see. Sometimes as Christians, we are more into... Um, uh, consuming, we are almost like a consumer. We like to consume things as opposed to be producers. God has made us producers. So you can, you can be used to a way of prayer, a way of talking, that all you see is how to consume something God is giving to you, but not from the standpoint of how to produce things that other people can use. I don't know if you get what I'm saying today. I want to take you to another level of prayer today. Today, we are going to be praying that the creative abilities of God on your inside is let loose. The creative abilities to produce. Some of you have banks inside of you. Some of you have secondary schools and universities inside of you. Some of you have business ideas that would employ 2,000 people inside of you. But yet you are still roaming around the prayer of, you know, God bless me with a car, bless me with a phone, bless me. There is a creative ability inside of you that needs to be let loose. Remember, don't always see yourself as a consumer only every time. Your prayer point is almost consuming kinds of prayer points. There is a level of insight where your prayers are not just consuming alone, but your prayers are filled with depth of producing for a word to see. And that's what we're going to be praying about today. For 10 minutes straight, 
except if the Lord puts some things in my spirit, you are going to pray dangerously. Because the Lord says he wants to anoint people as Bezali and Holy Ebbs, whereby he's going to give them unusual template to produce. You know, there are things God has put in your spirit. It's put there in your spirit. But the things you are used to, the kinds of prayers you pray has conditioned you to only see and receive from a lens of the person who needs help, like the woman with the issue of blood and not the Jesus who needs to help the woman with the issue of blood. And that's why today we're going to be praying from to that the God of heaven releases. Look at what God said to man in Genesis chapter 1 verse 26. Look at those powerful statements. He said, prosper, reproduce, fill the earth, and take charge. He says, take charge. That's the creative ability that God has given to everybody. Glory be to God. I want you to begin to see. Look, you know, there is a way we might all be fishing from the same points whereby God has moved past that thing and what he wants to now do is because you are blinded to see it. What he now wants to do with you is that he wants to open your eyes to make you producing fishes, not just one that is catching fish. You know, there's a level whereby you are the one catching fish to sell the fish. There's another level whereby you are the one producing, you have the fishing plant. That's another level. But sometimes because of the mindset, because of the background, because of the way of life, and you see how powerful your words are. Your words condition your mentality. I tell you something, even when you pray, your choice of prayer, your kind of prayer points might be conditioning the way you believe and receive things from God. And so I wanted to pray today that the creative power of God is let loose on your inside. Are you aware that if you begin to function 20% in the capacity that has been released to you by God, do you know the number of things you produce on the earth? That's the prayer I want you to pray today. That the creative abilities, Marade Zuve Liga Baya, the limitless, unlimited capacity that God has given to you, you begin to make provision and produce out of it. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I want you to lift up your right hands and you're going to be, begin to make this prophetic declaration to, uh, in, the, in the name of Jesus. Say after me, in the name of Jesus, I'm a child of God. And because I'm a child of God, I'm blessed of God. And because I'm blessed of the Lord, the Lord has released on my life a creative capacity for my world. And so in the name of Jesus, right here and right now, I release that capacity as a floodlight all around every area of my life. No more would I only act like a consumer, but from today, I begin to produce and reproduce till I take charge and I fill the earth. In the name of Jesus, I receive that capacity right here and right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Come on, go ahead and begin to pray in the spirit. Some of you prayed over your mind. Mind, ye the word of the Lord. You know, God could have created you as a king, but you are praying like a servant. God could have created you as a mighty man, but your thought pattern is that of a servant. I want you to pray in the spirit right now so much that the light of the God, the countenance of God's light shines upon your heart. If you're a creative person right here, I want you to pray immensely. This light shines in darkness. Darkness cannot comprehend it. I'm a city set on a hill. I cannot be hidden. I align back with my original formation. Somebody declare it. I align back with my original formation. Barancas, Irabongo Paragatelia Cobondo, Esheri Gatoli Gesuse, Leracatelia Catolia Paracatolia, Eshere de Debacai, Igabero de Bocotola Bada, Eshere de Debecatole Bocoto, Essende de Bondo Coparia. I hear the word of the Lord towards somebody. The pond has been dried up, and you are still trying to feed from that pond that is already dried up. Paracatolo Acata, won't you open your eyes to see that there are greater chances, there are greater possibilities? 
You know, many people can be trying to fish from the same pond that is already dried up. But God is showing, leave away from this brook. I've commanded a widow to feed you there. But you are already used to the brook chariot. But God is saying, don't stay there anymore. Move and go to the widow. I have commanded her. But because of the conditioning of your mind, you keep seeing yourself small. You keep seeing yourself as a consumer. I release the creative power of God on my inside. The creative power of God on my inside is released. I give permission to God to move through my life. I give permission to God to use my creativity, to use my potential and release it to the ends of the earth. I attack every false mindset. Every programming of words. Unknown to me through the, the things I say. Through the kinds of prayer that I pray, every programming of words, la ra ake elu jeli eroki gezudi elia kobera egero parate li gezusa ele kobarande kobade. I am bigger than this. I am bigger than this. I am bigger than this. I release the creative power of God, la ra katoli jeli. Ele braka tolia kataya, mengre se katolia barocho, leka kara potolia kataya, ika sondoro basha delegada, reke sondoro bara shadelegada, rebo sondere bara shandere da baka, raka sondere bakaya, ika ratoro bo shondo. The summary of the sound of my voice. You are trying to do the same thing other people have been doing. Allah kara bakoto, because that is the industry practice, that is the industry standard, and God has been witnessing your spirit. That is not what I want you to do. That is not the direction I want you to go. But you, you are saying it's going to take you longer if you want to go there. Because in your eyes, you can see that there is no way in that place. But the God that sees tomorrow, the God that knows tomorrow, has released inside of you a creative capacity. Obey that word of the Lord. Obey that word of the Lord. I hear the word of the Lord say, for many people, the pond has dried up. There is a long queue in that pond, but God has opened up something else. It's not a pond, it's a land, but it's not a pond. But you are used to ponds. But God is saying there is a creative capacity inside of you that would not make you think just as a consumer but a producer. The creator of the universe creates through me. The creator of the universe creates through me. The creator of the universe creates to me. I release my creative capacity that I receive from the God that created me. I release it right now. Listen, children of God, there is a creative capacity that has been bestowed upon everybody that is on the earth that God released by speaking to Adam. That creative capacity is to bring millions of people to know the Lord. I release that creative capacity. Somebody declared I will not be silenced. Somebody declared I will not be in that. Somebody declare my voice will not be in that. Somebody declare my voice will not be silenced. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Light is shining on your minds. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Light is shining on your minds. Somebody is getting up aggressive. There is something about hunger and anger. When hunger for things and anger comes to work, that this is not who I am. With all of the capacity released inside of you, by the reason of creation, I refuse only to live to make ends meet. I refuse only to leave, just to, to pray, to get a car, to get a house, and all of these normal, mundane things. But the creative capacity releases out of my life, I receive, I release it. 
to the ends of the earth for the world to see in the name of Jesus. Somebody declared my hands are God's hands. These hands are building creative things for the Lord. Somebody type that down. These hands are creating dynamic things for the Lord. These hands are creating dynamic things for the Lord on the earth. This mind is comprehending deep dynamic things for God. Somebody declare it. This mind is comprehending wisdom, deep dynamic things for God on the earth. This mind. Somebody declare, I have the mind of Christ. I have the mind of Christ. I have the mind of Christ. Look at all the things that the world created. Look at what the things the world created, which is Christ. If the Bible says you have the mind of Christ, then you have that capacity to create with that kind of mind. Somebody at the sound of my voice, the light of God is shining on your mind right now. The mind of God, the light of God is shining on your mind right now. Somebody declare my hands are God's hands. My hands are God's hands. My hands are God's hands. My mind is the mind of Christ. I prophesy over you. Let the king in you arise. Every conditioning that has conditioned you to be beggarly. In this context, I'm not talking about beggarly in terms of begging for bread, begging for transportation, begging for food to eat. No. I'm saying that you are no longer guys operating in that mind, that, that capacity capacity as a producer but like a consumer even though in your mind you are doing well but in the context of the things God has designed for you it is a form of beggarliness by the power of the spirit right now I break that yoke upon your life the Lord is breathing afresh on people that's what I say in my spirit the new the Lord is breathing afresh upon people right here my goodness God this is one of the most prophetic powerful prayers during this wild wind of testimony, the Lord is breathing afresh on people right here. Somebody will feel it that a weight has been lifted, something has been lifted. Your mind is now fresh, your mind is now renewed. The things you did not used to see before, you are now seeing it. The things you did not used to see before, you are now seeing it. The, seeing it. the veil is now removed from your eyes. Somebody declare thank you Lord Jesus hallelujah 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 the Bible says and God bless them it said prosper <laughs> I declare those words over you right now in the name of Jesus. Somebody declared in the name of Jesus. I want you to resound with a resounding loud amen wherever you are. As a prophet with the word of the Lord in my mouth, I declare these words over you again in the name of Jesus Christ. Prosper in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, prosper. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I declare reproduce. Your capacity to reproduce like God reproduces. Look at all the things God created. He's asked you to reproduce. In the name of Jesus, reproduce. I want to prophesy over somebody under the sound of my voice. Where you have to be the inventor, you will not have to be the consumer. In the name of Jesus Christ. 
Baba, where God has designed you to be the inventor, you will not be the consumer. What is this that I'm seeing? There are people under the sound of my voice. God has ordained you, anointed you as the inventor, but you are now operating and acting as the consumer, buying as a consumer. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, let that reproducing function in the life of a believer. I press that button in your life right now. In the name of Jesus, begin to reproduce. The new church, begin to reproduce. The new members, begin to reproduce. Partners and friends, begin to reproduce. In the name of Jesus. In the you will not play catch up. 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 Something is falling on people. Illuminations are going on in the minds of people right now. Let that anointing, that anointing rest right now. Upon everybody on the sound of my voice. Let that anointing rest right now. That covering cast on your mind. I tear it down right now. I put it away right now. I take it away right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, Rabba Katalabaya. And I declare over you feel the earth. Feel the earth. Feel the earth. Feel the earth. Be fat and flourishing and robust. In the name of Jesus. And I declare, take charge. Take charge. Have dominion. In the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We give you praise. Hallelujah. Amen and amen. Thank you, Lord. Now, guys, I I want to crave your indulgence today to please go back to this, this broadcast and listen to it again and again and pray with it for the rest of the month of April. There's such an unusual anointing. Some of you felt it when you were praying. That is upon this thing. It's like it's like a medicine and healing to the minds of people and a, an alarm of awakening for many people. For many people. I prophesy again. Where God has designed you to be the inventor, you will not be the consumer of the buyer there. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. These are so powerful prophetic words. Oh, Rabadaya, that your minds comprehend insights, structures, designs of God given to you to perform on the earth and to design on the earth that your hands create in the name of Jesus Christ. Somebody declare it. The creative abilities of God is released on my life. Oh, Rabatali Bodo. I create as God creates in the name of Jesus Christ. This is the word of the Lord to you. You're going to put it everywhere. You're going to sound it everywhere. The creative abilities of God are made manifest in my life. Oh, Rabatali Agatoso. The creative abilities of God are made manifest in my life. The creative abilities of God are made manifest in my life. I create as God creates. Say that again. I create as God creates. Father, we give you praise and glory. We thank you. We exalt you. We give you praise in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen and amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. All right. Don't forget again, we continue the wild winds of testimony. Ah, this session was, there was an unusual anointing on it. An unusual anointing on it. It's, it's, it's tailored for your life. Yes, it's tailored for your life. You will just get dissatisfied about some things that you've been saying. Ah, yes, Lord. You will begin to see yourself in another way from this moment. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. God bless you, everyone. See you again tomorrow, 7 a.m. as we continue to pray on the wild winds of testimonies in the name of Jesus. Look, some of you understand my voice. After this prayer that we prayed, you will go to work and the suggestion you start giving to your bosses at work, it will, they will be able to look at you and say, this person can be the CEO of this organization because of the way the mentality would have shifted to a whole new level in the name of Jesus Christ. God bless you, everyone. So have an excellent week in grace and power.
power and in honor of Lord Jesus Christ. God bless you. I'll see you tomorrow. Seven.